Yay! Hello. So, uh, before we start, uh, congratulations to the team that won yesterday the tournament. Who was the winning team? Ah, yeah. Me and Andre. <laughs> who finished for third? He was. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. We will see. Next, next Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ne ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see next Monday, guys. Hopefully, you competitive uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Monday, every day. Okay. So before we start, guys, uh, some of you you ask me uh, the standing and especially uh, who we will play uh, this Saturday. So just wanted to show you this Saturday we are playing York Jets. Okay. So as you can see, that's the link. Uh, there is not our victory of Saturday. So. We will have uh, eight points, and you see, if we win it against them, we will be with them. And after, from the second spot to our spot, it's really tight. It will be really tight. We can still do it. Sporting is second, you see, so at the end, it's uh, really crazy. Uh, Cherry Beach is first. I mean, uh, complicated to, to, to come back to them. But the second spot with Sporting, we can still do something, because look at the schedule. So we play uh, York Jets Saturday, okay? Sporting yesterday beats Purple 7-2, guys. So you know Purple, we gave them the victory with the two goals, so there is still something. So we play back-to-back -back the York Jets, okay? This Saturday, we play them. After Saturday, we play them again. After, we play Cherry Beach. After, we play uh, Purple, so we have a revenge against them. We play... The last game against uh, UMSC. Okay, so I think we still have one game, two game, three game, uh, four, five, six game. So we st we can still have six by three, six, twelve, eighteen points, guys. There is still eighteen points to take for this league. Uh, so we are playing Saturday York Jet. I will finish with it. They score thirteen goals. I mean, if we win every game, yes. So it depends on you guys now. But uh, n n let's focus first on York Jet that we are playing back to back this week and next week. They score 13 goals. We score uh, with the four goals that we will have uh, 15 goals. They take a lot of goals too. Okay. Most of the team we take a lot of goals, but they take goals. They score like us. So let's see how we play against them. We never played them this season. That was the game that was uh, rescheduled from December 23rd. Okay, so that's the standing. I will put it back on the chat. So if you want to watch it later on, okay, you have it. Uh, the other thing, again, for all the training session, all the game, guys, that's the channel. Okay, so I put it back. So every recording, the games and training, they're on the YouTube channel. So now let's start with the game from Saturday. Uh, Elan, did you want to start with something or? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I will start. I, d I did, like I mentioned to you, different uh, bullet points, different highlights. I will start with the first one. So that's the one uh, after the uh, go, uh, the, the, it's directly at the beginning. Okay. I just wanted to show you this one. So. They have the ball, okay? We take back the ball. And this is specific to, of course, all the team, but this this one is focused to Pierre, Hudson, Theo, and Ethan. I don't know if he's on the call, but hopefully he will watch the recording. Somebody can mute. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Let me, uh, somebody can mute. I, I was listening to, who's not muted, guys? Because I can hear backgrounds. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so now you can see my screen, okay? So what I wanted to show you, this is directly uh, at the beginning of of, uh, of the game, okay, after 20 seconds, specific to, of course, the whole team, but more on Pierre, Theo, Hudson. When we take back the ball, guys, and we play from the back, that's something I like, it's good, okay? We have to play from the back, it's good. But as soon as you give the ball to Hetan, 
before I know my 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 point, but what you sh what you should do, guys. It's so I'm talking currently to Theo, Hudson, Pierre, and even Sam. So so you're giving the ball to Ethan. Yeah, spread out, guys, because you see this. Pierre, move as fast as you can on the right side. Theo, move more on the left, and Hudson be between them too. Sam, try not to be behind your opponent. Okay, here he can't give you the ball. So if I take the board, can you see my the the tactical board that I have on the screen or no? Okay. So if the opponent, I will do it quick. Okay. Um. So if the opponent, you give back the ball to Ethan, and you have two opponents that they are like this. Let me see. Three, three of them. They have like this, like this, and like this in front of Sam. When Ethan has the ball, Pierre, you have to move here as soon as you can. Okay. Theo, what you should do, you should do the same, but here. Okay. And Sam, either here or there. Okay. Because behind him, you can't see. Huh? Sorry? Ah, thank you. Okay. So somebody is uh, watching, I guess. Okay, let me do this. It will be easier for everyone. Okay. So, now you can see my full screen. So, you can see my board, correct? So, what I was saying is when Ethan, as soon as Pierre is giving the ball, Pierre, you move on the left, but really on the left, you spread wide. Theo, on the same side, on the right side. And Sam, either on the left, between the two opponents, okay? But don't stay behind him because on this one, if you look at it, you're behind him. You're staying behind him. He can't give it to you. Okay? Hudson is behind them. That's fine. Theo can be a little bit more on the right side, but that's okay. He, he, he has the ball. Nobody's pressuring him. Okay? But I just want you to make sure that when Ethan has the ball here, spread on the wings. Okay? Because even if you lose the ball on the wings, you can still come back and... Uh, and try to make it difficult for the opponent. If you lose it in the middle here, it's done. They score directly. They shoot like Sporting. They did it when we lost the ball uh, with them in the middle. They took the ball from there and they score. Okay. So that was the first bullet point. If you want to stop me during the presentation, uh, please feel free. Okay. I don't want to uh, just talk along. This one, let me see. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Okay. So. This one, it's a pr we are pressuring them. Perfect. That's that's what I like. We are pressuring them. Okay. But on this one, Otto, when you have when you are here, don't stay here. You're not using anybody. Go on the left. Put pressure on these two because if this one wants to play back, you will be there. Here, you see, you you attracted by the ball. Don't be attracted by the ball. This one, go on the left. They are putting pressure. They are two against two. It's fine. It's not like they are two against one and they need support. You just go on the left. Because this one, you see, he was giving it to the left side. It's a good pressure from Andre. So Andre uh, cleared the ball. He, he, he just like uh, touched it. So there is a throw in. But if he didn't uh, deflect it, Otto, if you are moving up on the left side, you take this ball. This one is for you. And you can either score, try to shoot, or you have Elise and you have TJ that is alone on the left side. Okay? So remember, like I put, don't just be attracted by the ball during the game. Check how many teammates you have. Okay, two against two, I'm fine. I will move on the left, or I take back the player that is next to me. So if uh, he's trying to pass the ball, I can pressure and, and try to take back the ball. Same reminder when we have a throw-in, guys. Sometimes Pierre is taking one of the players up, and there is nobody behind him taking, the, uh, for example, the nine. Talk to Pierre, say, hey, Pierre, move back. Take back your number nine because you, he's the striker, you're the central back. And me, I move up, for example, Sam, and I'm taking the uh, midfielder, okay? You really have to communicate to make sure, especially to Owen, I saw it. On my side, I, I could help you because you were next to me. But on the other side, if, you, if you're taking the same player and nobody, for example, is taking the one that is doing the throw-in, it's like a two versus one or a three versus two for them, okay? We move to the uh, next uh, bullet point. This one, we saw crossing, guys. It's getting there. I like that we did 
many crosses during this game. I think it helped that we had these uh, sessions during first day, uh, attacking using white space. We will try to have the seven versus seven field this first day too, and maybe we can do it again. But when we're crossing, guys, we always need somebody at the back post too. When we cross a corner kick, I see it that we go to the near post, but nobody's at the back post. This one, Pierre, nobody's on you. Attack it. So go, go 200%, go to the back post. Because this guy, I think, is going to take maybe Emmet. I'm not so sure. See, maybe. And you see, there's nobody. So this one, Pierre, go full. Okay? But if Pierre is going, guys, that's something that was a little bit uh, dangerous when uh, we had a corner. We, we will see it after. When, we count, when they counter attack, there were sometimes two against one. You see here? If they are counter attack, there is two gray against just Hudson. I think it's Hudson here. Yeah. Because Pierre moved up. So if Pierre is moving up, who should be back, guys? Tell me. Theo or Sam, yeah, but somebody else maybe? Elise is number 10, remember. Elise is started as number 10. Yes, okay, and somebody else? Mm -hmm. Okay, because here the CDM, Sam, you're completely on the left side. You're here, you can, I, you, I see you. If, if, Try to be here, okay? Try to be between the middle and this player. Okay, let me see. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I understand. Okay, okay, good. But uh, just, just be careful, okay? But it was a good crossing. We almost score. Uh, it's Ellis, or it's directly a uh, post from uh, TJ. Ah, it's directly okay. Nobody touched it. Okay, good. That was good. A lot of uh, a lot of crossing during this uh, this game. Okay, this one that's the one dangerous guys. Remember one of the topic that I told you at the halftime that I didn't want from the opponent team. Mm -hmm, exactly. They can't turn, guys. Same thing for the next game. They can control it, but you have to make sure that you are behind them. Because as soon as they can turn, they can check our field, watch our game, see our position. And if we are not pressuring them directly, they can, if they are good technically, they can really uh, make an impact. Okay, and this one, it's too easy. Obama, you should stop him. The throw-in here. Look, we have four against two. So we have Obama, Sam, uh, Theo, and who's the fourth one? Otto? Why Otto? You it's you Otto on the left. Yeah. Okay. But here you are here, my friend. Huh? Because Emmet is on the right side, middle. I see. Uh, I see Hudson, and you. You completely came on the left side. That's you. So it's whatever. Just be careful. You two. You came directly on the left side. There is nobody on the right side. Just uh, Emmet, Pierre, Hudson, you, Sam, Obama. You are four against two guys on this throw-in. Obama, I can't pass you. Come on. Look, look, look how he's passing you just with the... No, this can't happen. First, remember, you have to be in his behind, behind him, not on the right side. Remember while on the training, when I show you guys when he's controlling the ball, and if you're opening the left side and you're trying just to protect the right side, he will just easily, automatically, if you see a gap on the left side, he will take it. Like, he's just doing it. You're protecting the right side, Obama, and him controlling it, he go left. That's it. Okay? And after you have to stop him. Okay? You, you, you don't stop him first. After he's passing a second one and he has a corner kick. Okay, Obama, you're on the call? Yes? No? Okay. This one, you stop him. Being his back, okay? He can't turn. And if he's turning, you have to clear the ball on the side uh, a throw in. I don't want to have this situation again, guys. Four against two, and he has a corner kick at the end. Okay? Next one. This one, I love it, guys. It's a counter attack. They have a corner kick. Be careful just with the long uh, kick, uh, Obama, on the corner. And after counter attack, I like that Andre at the beginning, you're trying to wait. You're not going directly one to one because you're like, wait. 
do I wait for the red to come next to me or I go one to one? And after you just go and you finish it. That was good. A good counter attack, guys. That was really good. I, I like this one. Really quick from TJ. He saw uh, Andre directly into his foot. And Andre, after like watching the environment, okay, well, do I go one to one? Do I wait Emmet or Elise or TJ? Okay, let's try because they are not on me. And uh, good finish. This one, the same, guys. Same as the first point when we have the ball. This one, Pierre, as soon as Theo gave the ball, you drag on the left. You should be. You should be here, okay? You should be as soon as he give you the he give the ball to Ethan, move on the left, okay? Don't stay too close to your opponent. You really have to move on the left, okay? Really move, 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 move on the left. And after good, uh, good uh, counter attack again, it was good, but just it was more a reminder for the three center back. As soon as you give the ball to Ethan, you have to spread. Okay, Hudson stay uh, in the middle between the, the, the opponent team. And of course, after you have to kill it, Andre. That's for sure. This one, kill it. But it was good. So as soon as they receive the ball, Pierre, Hudson, or whoever has you are, we have as central back on the left and right side, you have to uh, spread on the wings. Okay? Next one. This one for Emmet. If you don't have support, guys, Emmet, Andre, wait for support. Because it's impossible. You can't you have like a three three players against you. Okay? Either you wait or the control, if you can make it here on the left, TJ, you have to talk. Because if you talk to Andre, he can maybe look on the left side and he can give it to you. Okay? I know it's complicated, but this one you have to talk to him because look on the left side, you are completely alone, TJ. The guy is behind you. Even Elis is nobody is taking him. His opponent is is like four or five meters behind him. So it was almost a, a, a really impressive counter attack. It's just that we are going not the right side and we lose it. And this one after we have to wait for support or, and control. Yeah. And after this one, you you have to finish. Okay, really have to finish. But it was a good one. At least we stay on their side. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Yeah. And Ethan, remember, scream on them. You're the only one that see the full pitch. You have to scream. They will not take it personally, and you have to scream. If you see that in a snapshot they are not doing it, scream on them. Because this, this free kick, it takes 10 seconds for them to kick it. So you really don't have a lot of time to, uh, to, uh, to do the wall. Okay? So really in a snapshot, okay, two. Three players in the wall. That's it. And you scream on them and they have to make sure that they hear you. Remember, it's a dome. There is a lot of noise coming from players. There is another game behind us. So it's it's really noisy. So you really have to talk to them. Nineteen. Play on the side, Ethan. So if they lose the ball, we can still figure it out. The goal is not in front of them. If we lose it with Hudson, because we almost lose, lost it, by the way, when it's not your fault, the, the ball from Hudson, you miss this pass. If the guy is quick in front of you, he finish it. But if we miss the pass and we're on the side, we're good. We, we can still clear it or protect the net. 
Simone on the right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah. And adding to this, again, we are bumping to each other, guys. Look, it, he has the ball, Elise. Don't come to him. You're coming to him here. Take the space. Nobody is taking you. Nobody is taking Otto. Nobody is taking uh, Luca. Move up, guys. Don't take the ball from Dylan. Leave it with him. He has the ball. That's it. Move up. Okay? Move up. Because after, we are like, again, there are time to come back, and it's complicated to counter-attack. And when you give the ball, guys, this I see it not just with Dylan. Dylan, give the ball to uh, Daniel. Don't give it in, in his back. Give it here, okay? Don't give it in, because look, you will give it to him complete in the in back, back backward. So of course he will stop running. He was is receiving it backward. Here we go, and that's it. No, no, no. Give it to him uh, in front of him. Here, in front of him. The other player don't see. You can't see. Just here. Okay? You good technically. So outside of the foot, even if your left foot, outside of outside of your left foot, <laughs> Daniel receive it there, he finish easy. There is nobody on him. He's fast. It's it's not just for you. For on the other side, I, I remember it happened too. Don't give the ball when we are attacking like this to the player in his foot. He needs it in the space, especially Daniel, Andre. TJ, they are running really fast. So give them in, f like, like if the opponent is here, give him in front, in the space, in the width, okay? Because with the speed they have, they will, they will pass inside run. They will pass the player, take it back and inside in, and they finish. And if the player is back to him, to the player, he will do a fault because uh, TJ or Daniel or Andre, they are in front of them. So. They will touch them, and it will be a penalty or a really good free kick like we had against Sporting with uh, with TJ when he was almost one to one uh, with the goalkeeper. Okay. Next one, this one it's the goal we take. I know it's offside, guys, but Hudson, he can't, you can't, he can't pass you like this. Use, stay on your feet, use your shoulder. Okay, he should be the guy falling down or. Uh, uh, li uh, losing the ball, you can't, you can't uh, go on the floor like this. This guy is the same height, same. Okay, after there is a big offside, I, I still don't understand how the ref in front of it. He <laughs> it's not like 20 centimeter. Just make sure Simone, Theo, you align. Okay, when you do the offside, guys. But the guy is offside. After Ethan, you should be. Remember what I told you, every time we are attacking and we are on their side, I want you somewhere here on the field, okay? I don't want you on the line. And this one, when he is coming to you, don't come to him. Don't wait. He, you have to come. Especially here, you see he's doing a, there is a trigger, is the control of the ball that he, he can't control it. You will see. This one, you see? If you if you were up to the field, you 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 could have it because he's not controlling it. Uh, this one, this one. You see, it's two meters away from him. Don't stay because after it's too easy for him. He has the full angle. He can be like, oh, okay. You know what? Thank you. I have the time to either shoot on this side or this side. And after about well, the shooting, it's really bad what he's doing. But you know, he was offside. But just for the future, when we are attacking, go really up front. Okay. Don't stay on your line. The only time you stay on your line, it's maybe at the beginning of a corner kick or a free kick that is really close. But otherwise, I want you up on the field. Elan, you wanted to add something on this? Okay. And, uh, okay. 
this one, guys, it's a corner against uh, us. Uh, we have really difficulty to clear the ball here, and we have to make sure you main marking your player, guys, because there is one player free. These two players, they are free. This one is free. This one is free. It's like four players free, and who's it's auto you're taking? Pierre, I don't know who you're taking. Uh, Theo, I don't know who you're taking. Theo, I don't know who you're taking, or Simone. This guy is still free. At the end, glad that Otto or uh, yeah, it's Otto that cleared the ball. But guys, against stronger stronger team, this one we should clear it directly here. We can't have four players alone. And we still have uh, Hudson that is really low on the field. Really, you, you can't drop like this. You have to move up. Remember what I'm telling you? After every free kick and corner, move up, guys. As soon as you can move up, because even if he's playing to one of this, these players, if we move up, they are offside. And here it's impossible. If, if this guy is playing one touch to this player, he's not offside. We have uh, Daniel, I think. No, Elise, Otto. No, Elise, Hudson. And another player there, that is, I think, Obama, that they are covering them for the uh, for the offside. So that's really dangerous. Be careful, guys. Against this team, it was okay. But against a stronger team, it will be difficult. And after, Elise, don't come inside. <laughs> You're coming back inside. There are four players against one. Go on the left. Play with TJ as soon as you can because here yeah, it's done. You lose the ball. There are four players against you. Okay? Play on the side. We are really trying now to, to use the white space at training to do as much as we can for this training. So uh, use the white space as soon as you can. One of the last one, that was a dangerous one, guys. When we have a corner, guys, be careful of the counter attack. We lose the ball here. Theo, move up because this guy is alone. Okay. And after, it's a three against two, guys. This one is not is almost on the same line as Theo. Pierre. You have to stay on your player. This one, it's a counter attack, and it's after one against two with uh, Theo Dali has to deal with the two players, and there is the third one coming, and we are really high. Normally here we should see Pierre coming back, and here who should be the fourth one to come back uh, with Theo Hudson and uh, and uh, Pierre, the CDM guys, CDM and and. CDM at this time it was Luca and Luca, you are still. I mean you uh, you between running and jogging. Okay, you have to sprint. This one you have to sprint because Theo is good, he's alone and he with his speed he could clear the ball on the side. But against a dangerous team like your Jet Saturday will be really dangerous, guys. So be careful of the counter attack. When we lose the ball, Hudson again. Shoulder against shoulder, he can't, he can't pass you. You have to be either behind him to clear the ball, but like this, again, it's second time that he passed you, okay? Be careful of this, and Pierre, you really have to drop as soon as you can. Here, you see they have the ball back. You there, you have to sprint because it's like, oh, oh, they are counter-attacking. They have one, two, three players against two, okay? So here, you really have to accelerate. You can't just... Now you you started to sprint. Now you sprint. Now it's before, okay? And good clearance by Theo that could clear it or play with uh, Ethan. You can talk to him, Ethan. He can give it to you if he can. But it's good that just to make sure he cleared the ball on the side and we had time to to come back, okay? Same on this corner. It's a counter attack. Same. You will see it's the same. We lose the ball and. Counter attack. You see, it's one versus one. Pierre, you you still behind him. And Luca, you coming back, but where is the third center back? You have to really come back fast, okay? We can't have this situation against uh, your jet guys. This one, and Pierre, don't kick the corner. Uh, no, it's I know you there. Sorry. Uh, if Emmet is not giving you the ball, just leave. Don't stay here, uh, uh, Pierre. Come back. Because your player that you're taking is behind you, okay? Emmet is not giving you the ball. Okay. He's telling you, you know what, Pierre? I'm not giving. I'm clear it. I'm uh, playing directly in, in, in inside the box. You can leave. 
okay, I'm leaving and I'm taking back my uh, my defensive position again. But that's a communication because on the counter attack, it's again a two against one. Okay, we don't have the ball. And here, the rebound is good, Theo, uh, that you play with him. And so you could play back with uh, Ethan. Clearance from Ethan, it's good too. At least it's far from our goal, so that's good. And I think we all we almost had the uh, the throw in even. No, we didn't. Okay, so be careful of the uh, the uh, corner kick when they counter attack. If they if you see that behind you you have an opponent, especially uh, Pierre or the other centre back, stay with him. Don't don't just go here because in any case you're not helping him. He's playing uh, inward directly. Okay. For me, that's it. Elan, something else, Tim. Some feedback. And again, Tim, if you want to, uh, if you want to compete now, if you want to finish top two, top three, guys, I will put it back, but. We have to win the two back-to-back -back games against York Jets. Uh, we have to see something against Cherry Beach. And after, we play Sporting Purple and we finish uh, with uh, UMSC again. So, it's up to you guys. We are here to support you for the training session, but the games, if you're not committed at 200%, you will know the results. We don't play UMSC every week, so the gift is just two or three games per season. And uh, again, like I told you yesterday, if you were not there, we already have in mind our starting 11 with Elan. Let's see how it goes Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, we will try to have the 7 versus 7 field again. Uh, so we can uh, do something. We can train. And let's see if we change our starting 11 from, from what we see tomorrow and Thursday. But at this one, we have the starting 11. So let's see what we have. And last thing. We confirmed the friendly game against Brist for March 15. So I received almost every fee. Uh, I think I just need the fee from Pierre and TJ. I think Pierre, TJ, and maybe Daniel. I don't remember Daniel. But I know Pierre, TJ, uh, I'm still waiting for your fee for your fees. And I think that's it. We will be 11, 12. So that will be good. Brist is really good. They are uh, the leader on the GTI, uh, PISL league. They didn't uh, lose any game. They are like Cherry Beach. They are really good. So that will be a good test for us and a good training. Okay. Simone, you have something? Go ahead. At this one, we all we have in mind the starting 11 with Elan. Com regarding the last game, what we saw on the field, what we saw on the VO. Uh, but uh, we want to see what happened Wednesday and Thursday on the field. Let's see if we change somebody or if we are like, you know what, what we saw uh, last game and on the, during the training session Wednesday, first day, we good to go with the same starting 11. Because now I told you it's the half of the season. We can't give gift like we did. Uh, when I see the, 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 the standing and I see that sporting in second and against them, we didn't lose. Uh, I'm a little bit upset because we, we have quality on the field. But now we have to make sure that we have the best team on the field and uh, we have to win. It's a competitive season. You, you sign up for a competitive team and league. So now the best player will play. And the one that they're not uh, providing on and off the field and just coming just to kick balls and, and scream and, uh, and shout, that's not, uh, that's not what we want. And uh, we have to adjust. Okay, good. Elan, anything else before we wrap up? Okay, anything uh, else? Uh, uh, somebody uh, raise your hand. Go ahead, uh, Otto. Yeah, okay, that will be good. Okay, good to know, Otto. Okay, uh, Emet, go ahead. March 15, I put it on Team Snap. March 15. Okay. Otherwise, I see you tomorrow night, guys, on time. Be ready, be focused, because uh, big, big two weeks coming. Okay. Have a great evening, guys. I don't keep you more and uh, see you tomorrow on time. Bye, guys.